Welcome to Voya Global Perspectives. One of the U.S.'s best exports in recent years may have been policy and not product, namely the Federal Reserve's quantitative easing program. It sure has helped the U.S. In fact, both the Fed and the financial markets have been surprised by the country's economic growth and its strength in corporate earnings, jobs, and inflation. Did Europe not get the QE memo? In terms of GDP, Europe in aggregate is second only to the U.S., but is quickly losing ground as the U.S. locomotive gains speed. Even Germany appears to be slipping. There was some speculation that at the October 2nd ECB meeting, President Mario Draghi would expand his announced bond buying program to include sovereign debt, especially given that the first tranche of his high-profile TLTRO program was a bust. He opted to punt, however, and the markets plummeted, signaling not only their displeasure, but a lack of confidence in Europe's ability to pull out of its malaise. Add to this the surge in the dollar that triggered the downward spiral in oil prices, then we have further uncertainty adversely impacting, in particular, emerging market growth. U.S. economic data, meanwhile, continues to be positive despite the ongoing concerns in Europe and the various sources of geopolitical unrest. This stronger-than-expected economic growth should allow the Fed to exit its unconventional monetary policy, likely adding uncertainty to a market that has grown decidedly more volatile in recent weeks. Market volatility continues to increase, which has been a positive for fixed income, but a decidedly negative for equity. The broadly globally diversified investor has less exposure to volatile markets and is less apt to make rash moves in this environment. Recent market weakness has presented investors with the opportunity to gain exposure to assets that build wealth and manage risk, that is, to build a broadly diversified portfolio of stocks and bonds at more attractive levels. I'm Doug Cote, and that was this month's Global Perspectives.